Welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five. My colleague Alex Sanchez is here with me today. Hey Alex. Hey. Thanks for joining me. It's great to be here. All right, so we're just going to kick it right off. At number five, founder and president of Benetech writes about the interesting business of providing security software that is open source. So he's constantly fielding questions like, is your software, if your software is open source, doesn't that make it less secure? So in this article, you can check out how he answers that question. Next up, we've got a great article on Hubble. Um, it's a 3D printable uh, laser cutter that's fully open source. Um, so this article is from the creator, Michelle uh, Feinkleiner. Um, she tells us about uh, how it can be purchased for $279 US dollars. You can get a full kit and put it together. Uh, or you can source the part yourself for less than $100 US dollars and have your own uh, working laser cutter. That sounds really fun. It's really neat. That's awesome. All right, at number three, um, so as more data is needed to innovate, the need to convert data is going to become a lot more prevalent than it already is. So thankfully, we have Nicole Ingard a, of Bywater Solutions sharing Karma with us, a free and open source data integration tool that makes it easy to convert data from a variety of formats into linked data. You can hear more about her experience at her at a workshop on Karma in this article. Next up, we've got a really great article from a Red Hatter, uh, Anderson Silva. Um, it basically addresses the issue of, you know, so many kids and teens are interested in getting involved in open source and in technology, um, but, you know, you want them to start, but you don't want them to fry the family computer. So um, he says that the Raspberry Pi, the $35 mini computer, is the perfect place for them to get started learning a language, contributing to open source, and uh, getting familiar with Linux. Awesome. Gotta love that Raspberry Pi. And finally, at number one, David Both shares another great Linux piece with us, this time about Midnight Commander, a text-based command line interface program. In this article, he shows us how to install it, how to get started using it, and some, how to set up some really great features with Midnight Commander. That's a good one. Definitely an interesting read. And uh, that does it for our weekly top five. Uh, if you're interested in OpenStack, you might want to check out um, a recap of OpenStack Summit in Vancouver from our very own Jason Baker. Um, I heard he had a great time. I heard that too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us, and we hope that you stay tuned for our next roundup next Friday. See ya.